Hey y'all, you're watching Forty's Garage. Time to get some new shoes on my Fox body. So we're gonna take these kind of sad, tired looking babies and turn them into, voila. Let's get started. Picked these beautiful wheels up off of Marketplace yesterday. Trying to get a different look out of the Fox body here. I wanna really lean into that 80s look. So a couple things we're gonna have to do. We gotta A, ditch this dry, rotted, old rubber. Definitely not road safe. Then we're gonna clean them up, strip the paint, do a little painting, do a little polishing, and then take them over to the tire shop, get some new rubber mounted and balanced on them, and we should be ready to go. First thing I'm gonna to wanna to do though is check to make sure they actually fit the car. Threw the wheels on just to get a nice test look and man, I'm digging it. Kind of surprised the rear's actually holding air seeing as how dry rotted these are, but you can't win them all. Here's a little bit of a better look at what we're working with here. So I don't know if you call these mesh or, you know, whatever, but I really like the look of them. They're 15s. They're gonna kind of bring a little bit of that 80s flair back into the car. And I believe these are the same kind that they used on the ASC McLaren Mustangs. It's this OZ by MSW. Looking around, I've seen a lot of pictures of them like this. And I believe these ones were originally gold. You can see the gold coming through and also someone painted over the weight. So we're gonna have to strip all this paint off, really redo them, make them nice. And I'm gonna add my own little twist on it. I had my friendly local tire shop remove the tire from the wheels, so that way it's not going to get in my way when I'm painting, and those things are so far gone anyways. So what we're going to do now, clean them up a little bit. I'm just using Dawn dish soap and a little scrub brush attachment for my drill, and we'll get these cleaned up, get them ready for sandblasting. And here's just to show why I'm choosing to strip all the paint off instead of going over. You can see it's really starting to chip off here after all these years of being on the road sitting around. So we'll be starting from bare metal, make it look like a brand new wheel. For some of the really corroded wheels, I ended up using a commercial aircraft paint stripper to get all that stubborn old paint off. Really worked great, just ate through, bubbled up, and you could scrape the paint right away, usually. And if you're like me and you have some paint that just doesn't want to come off no matter how hard you try, a little wire wheel attachment on a Dremel works wonders. You don't even need to go too fast and make sure you're wearing eye protection. And bam, just like that, the paint's cleared up. And for the wheels where the paint was actually holding on in pretty good shape, sandblasting really worked great. Allowed me to get into all the little crevices and just strip all this paint off so we got a nice fresh surface to lay some new paint down on. And the foundation of any good sanding project, getting in there with your hands at the very end. Kind of fold it up this piece of sandpaper and working in all the cracks getting any of the paint that hasn't flaked off yet or been sandblasted out so this is going to take a while now that i've got most of the paint removed actually all the paint i could get removed i'm going to start working on this edge here because i want this nice polished lip so what i'm going to start with is right around the very lip can't really see it too well on this one it's bad on the others but it's really chewed up kind of scratched up i don't know Probably right here is the worst spot. I'm gonna hit that with 400 on the orbital, and then I'm gonna start going around the whole rim here, starting with 600 wet sanding, then I'll go to 800, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and then we'll hit it with a little aluminum polish. But get this baby shined up. Here's how we're looking after the first pass with 600. Already starting to shine. There are a couple spots here and there that, you know, a little too deep of damage for me to get at, but you know what? It's gonna look a lot better than they did when I pulled them out of somebody's backyard. 
thousand grit done. We're starting to see some sparkle. Forgot to get a picture of it after the 1500 grit. So you're looking at a nice smooth 2000 grit finish. Um, before I go and polish this, I'm gonna paint it because I don't want any polish to get anywhere in here and cause the paint not to stick. So to get ready for painting, I'm just got a toothbrush, a little bit of soap. We're gonna clean all the gunk out of here. And um, I'm gonna want run a wire drill brush on the inside of here, a little corrosion in there. Just clean that up a little bit, you know, something you don't wanna do after you paint. So let's get this cleaned up. Got the lip all nice and taped up. I think we're ready to start painting. I'm gonna start from the inside, like the inside first. That way if I get any overspray, it's going in here and not on this nice surface. So let's get to painting. Prepping the surface with a little degreaser. Gonna make sure the paint sticks on and these wheels last for decades. Inside of the wheel, all primed up. Let this dry a little bit and get started on the outer face. Time to start working on the face of the wheel. Gonna hit it with a little degreaser, make sure all the paint sticks on nice. And there are a lot of crevices to get into. And just like that, we've got a gold mesh wheel. Oh, this is gonna look so good with the black. We'll let this baby dry off, set a little bit, and get ready to get her mounted. Put some rubber on this thing. Now we got everything painted up. It's time to start polishing on this nice aluminum lip here we spent a lot of time sanding. So what I'm using is just some regular, uh, you know, aluminum and mag polish, and then a cotton wheel on my drill here. Let's see if we can bring out this shine. We're shining like a diamond now. And that'll about do it for all the refinishing stuff. I'm gonna get the valve stev in here, give it a little time, let that paint bake on in the sun, get nice and hard, and then we'll throw some tires on it. I'm gonna go ahead and say all the work was worth it. Can't wait to get these on the car. Picked up some new lug nuts, acorn style here. Gonna start popping the center caps in and then we'll get them on, see how it all looks. And now the moment I've been waiting six months for. All this time sanding and stripping and sandblasting 
We're gonna see how these wheels look on this car. Let's do it. babies hold up to the test. Hey, if you like what you saw, you know the drill. I'd love a like and subscribe, and until then, see you next time. <laughs>